Hi students, nice to meet you once again on the session of YouTube and on today's session we are going to look at a very important part of humans or living things and this important part, this important sense organ is nothing but the human eye. You know that light is an electromagnetic radiation which produces sensation of vision. Say if I make you stand in a dark room, you will not be able to perceive the things in and around you. Why is it so? It is just because of the absence of light. This light enters into your eyes and it produces a image, a sharp image on your retina of your eyes, which is then sent to the brain and then you perceive the object. So today's session, you're going to look at the human eye. I've drawn a diagram here on the green board so that you can look into and get a deeper perspective. Let's start with the human eye. The human eye has a thin membrane which is called as the cornea. The human eye has a thin membrane and this membrane is called as cornea. The cornea, it forms a transparent bulge. You can find that the human eye has a bulge here. It forms a transparent bulge on the surface of the eyeball. What happens? The light which enters the eye, it enters through cornea first. And maximum refraction of the light, it takes place at cornea. If you look behind the cornea, you have a dark muscular diaphragm which is called as the iris. A dark muscular diaphragm is present behind the cornea which is called as iris. The color of the iris is different for different people. You can find some people having black color iris, some people having blue color iris, some people having a lightish green color iris. So the color of the iris is different for different people. At the center of the iris, you can find it even in your own eyes. Stand before the mirror, look into your eyes. You can find that at the center of the iris, there is a small opening of a variable diameter. And this small opening is called as pupil. You can find the pupil here. If you want a deeper perspective, you can stand before the mirror and look into your own eye, where you can find at the center of the iris, you have a pupil. Now this pupil is very much useful in controlling and regulating the amount of light entering your eye. You have light entering, the amount of light that enters your eyes is controlled by your pupil. And when you have more amount of light entering the eye, the pupil, it contracts. When you have insufficient amount of light entering the eye, you find the dilation of new pupil. The pupil dilates when more amount of light enters the eyes. So, this property or this tendency of pupil to adjust the opening for light is called as adaptation. So, I told you that you have a cornea on the surface of the eyeball. It is a transparent bulge. Light enters through the cornea. Maximum refraction of light takes place at cornea. Behind the cornea, you have a dark muscular diaphragm. This dark muscular diaphragm is called as iris. Then I told you that at the center of the iris, you have a small opening of variable diameter, which is called as the pupil. Then I told you that this pupil, it controls the amount of light enters your eyes. If you have less amount of light enters, the pupil will contract. If you have more amount of light entering into your eye, the pupil will dilate. And this tendency of the pupil to adjust the opening for light is called as adaptation. Now behind the pupil, behind the pupil, you have a transparent biconcave crystalline body which is called as the lens. You know what lens is. It is a spherical surface. It is made up of two spherical surfaces. 
So in the same way, you have lens present in your eyeballs also. This lens is transparent and it is a biconcave crystalline body. Well, what is the function of this lens? The lens provides you with fine adjustment of focal length because you observe or you look at different objects in different positions. You find a man coming towards you. So if you consider the man to be an object, you find that the man is changing its position. And when the object changes its position, the position of the image that falls on your retina will also change. So as the image should fall on your retina, the lens, it, what it does? It adjusts, it, it adjusts the focal length. So the lens, the lens adjusts the focal length so that real and inverted images are formed on your retina. So what is retina? Retina is a light sensitive screen which contains n number of sensitive cells, light sensitive cells. And as soon as light falls on the retina, you find that these cells are illuminated. And due to the illumination of these cells, you find that they produce electrical signals. These electrical signals are sent to your brain through a nerve called as the optic nerve. And then what the brain does? The brain interprets the signal, it processes the information in such a way that you perceive the object. So I told you, I'll give you a short recap of what did I teach you. I told you that the cornea forms the transparent bulge on the surface of the eyeball. Behind the cornea, you have the iris, a muscular diaphragm. Then I told you that at the center of the iris, you have a variable opening, small variable opening called as the pupil. I told you that the pupil, it adjusts, yeah, it controls the amount of light that enters your eye. Behind the pupil, you have a crystalline body which is called as lens. The lens adjusts the focal length so that sharp, real and inverted images are formed on the retina. Then I told you that retina, this retina is a light sensitive screen which contains n number of sensitive cells which these cells gets illuminated as soon as light falls onto it. And due to illumination, you have electrical signals generated. These electrical signals are passed through the brain and the brain interprets it in such a way that you perceive the object. So, this is very important part in point of your examination. You have this coming for 5 marks in your SSC boards. So I hope students that you do it very perfectly. In the next session, we will be looking at the defects of human eye. Till then, wait for the next video. Bye. Take care.